Hi, this is the Vacuum and Sewing Doctor in Modesto, California, and today we're going to show you how to repair a Singer Upright Vacuum Cleaner. Okay, Mr. Cameraman, let's take a close up here. Okay, on a Singer Upright Vacuum Cleaner, probably stand behind me, it would be, yeah, that would be good. Um, on a Singer Upright Vacuum Cleaner, this is an older style vacuum cleaner. Uh, it's hard to get parts for these machines here right now. Uh, the roller brush here. It's a standard roller brush with rubber ends. Now, if you ever need a roller brush, you might not be able to get a, an original Singer roller brush. A Power Flight used to make a model just like this, and Power Flight has a roller brush that will interchange with this machine here. But uh, the belt change on this, you just put the belt on the spindle like that, and you stretch it over, and that'll put that on. But this vacuum cleaner had what they call twin suction. That means you had one suction fan on this side, and one suction fan on the other side. So if it's ever not picking up properly, what you want to do is check for clogs on this side of the machine or this side because it had dual suction on it there. So on this particular machine here, what I do is I stretch the belt over the spindle here. Then after we get that on, the roller brush here, you just stretch that guy back on. All right. Okay, and then like any other vacuum cleaner, like on my other videos, turn the belt by hand first. That way, uh, if the because if the belt is kind of kinked and you turn the vacuum cleaner on, a lot of times the belt will burn off on you. So you definitely don't want to do that. There. So on this guy here, you got two tabs here. You'll push the tab like that and a tab like that. Okay, and then again, let's take a, a, a front picture of the vacuum cleaner. This is a Singer vacuum cleaner. Also, Power Flight made a vacuum cleaner just like this that was blue and had a little bit longer of the cord, but the parts are interchangeable. Now, on the belt change on these guys here, you'll, you will find it very difficult to get the exact bags that will fit this machine. So, what you could do is, if you need bags for this machine, Take a picture of this. Eureka FNG bags will interchange with these old model singers. Sometimes they'll say that on the bags, but this pack doesn't say that. But this is a standard Eureka FNG bag. And we'll do the bag change here for you. You just got a little band on the bottom down here that holds the bag on. So what you do is you put the bag on, you roll this band on the bag. After the band is rolled on, you just go ahead, put the bag in like that, and you zip it up. Another thing that people always ask about these machines is they always want to know how to turn it on. This is an older style machine, so to turn the machine on itself, you plug it in the wall, and as soon as you hit the handle release and bring the handle down, it turns on automatically. Now, uh, back up to the belt change on this. You're going to find it difficult to get an original Singer belt. But you can also use a Hoover Elite belt or a Hoover Legacy belt. It's a little bit bigger, not much, but it'll work because it's very difficult to get the exact belt on these older Singer Upright. But if you need any parts or service on the machine there, just give us a call. Our phone number is 209-523-6978 and we're at 1321 McHenry Avenue across the street from Pep Boys Auto. We're done.